Sukkot, when we're sitting in the Sukkah, we make the Berachah of Leshev by Sukkah. The buzzing, the word is Leshev, not Lishev. Some Mahzorim have Lishev. Our custom is to recite Leshev. Our custom dates back at least to 1527, where we find in the Mahzor Aram Soba, it's printed Leshev. There are also those that say Leshev is more grammatically correct, that there's two types of verbs that start with the letter Yod, and some of them, when they're in the future tense or the infinitive tense, you say, for instance, you say, Eshev, Neshev. So if you say, Eshev, Neshev, then you, when you do the infinitive, it's Leshev. You have other types of, uh, other verbs that start with Yod, like Yashan. So you, since you say, Ishan, Tishan, so that's why you say, Lishon. But Leshev is Leshev. So that's our custom. We say, Leshev Basuka. So on the first night of Sukkot, when we recite Kiddush, the Sheb comes before Shehayanu. So the custom and Hala was right after the Sheb to sit down upon reciting the Sheb Sukkah, and then Shehayanu was recited while sitting down. On the second night of uh, Sukkot, so the Sheb Sukkah comes at the end of Kiddush, after Shehayanu. So in such a case, after the Sheb Sukkah, you sit down, and then you drink the wine. During the day, the custom was that the entire Kiddush was recited sitting down, and Leshev is recited at the end, after Bore Priya Gefen, and before drinking the wine. So whenever there's Kiddush on the holiday of Sukkot, even on Shabbat Chalam Wa'ed, Leshev is recited together with Kiddush, whether it's the night Kiddush or the day Kiddush. It's recited at the end of the Kiddush before drinking the wine. But this is only when you're having Kiddush before a meal with uh, Motzi. But if a person, for instance, has breakfast on the, on Sukkot in the Sukkah, but he's not having hamotzi, he's having mizonot or fruits or vegetables or other foods. So in such a case, he makes kiddush without the ship, since the obligation to recite the ship of Sukkah only comes if you're having at least two ounces of bread or eight ounces of mizonot. Now, when you have a weekday halam white meal where there's no kiddush or for Sarah Dashley Sheet on Shabbat Cholam Wa'id. So now most would recite the Sheb after Hamotzi, before tasting the bread. However, there are some that did it the other way. They would make the Sheb Sukkah, sit down, and then make Hamotzi and eat the bread. One more custom for Sukkot, and that's taking out the Sarah Torah for the Hoshanot. So the custom in Halab is to take the Sarah Torah out already from Baruch Shamar and put it on the teba and leave it there until it's time to encircle the teba for Shanot. If the congregation forgot to take it out of Baruch Shamar, so the next time when they're standing in Bay Barech David, they take the Zerat Torah when everybody's standing in Bay Barech David. Um, this is done all seven days of Sukkot, with the exception of Shabbat. Now on, on Shabbat, even though it's our custom to recite Hoshanot for Shabbat, but since we don't encircle the Teba on Shabbat, since we don't have our Ludab, we're not holding the Ludab, so therefore we don't take out the Sarah Torah, we recite the Hoshanot from our seats.